Yes then guys, how are we all doing? My name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel for another player view. It's the Serie A SBC time and it is Lorenzo Pellegrini. I knew this man was coming because of the leaks earlier on in the week, but I didn't know that it was going to be an SBC. For some reason I thought he came out yesterday. It completely blanked me boys. A bit of an error on my part, but we got the card finally and it's an 83 and an 85 year old team with one team of the season slash team of the week needed. So really cheap. We get a six foot one high medium, right footed four star, four star card. I don't know what body type he is in game. We shall see shortly. But if he is lean and with those dribbling stats, I'm excited. I'm going to play him as a cam. That's the reason I've got him. Once again, it's another ridiculously nice well rounded midfielder that could play basically as a cam, a center mid, even a CDM if you had to put in there because he has a little bit defensively. But the physicals, apart from the stamina, a little bit lackluster. Definitely suited to a cam or a box to box center mid role. Going forward, we do have the outside the foot shot trait, which is nice. Apart from that, it's a solid looking card. Definitely a chem style to boost up the pace if you're going to play him in a forward position. Maybe even a hunter if you want to super juice the pace and shooting as a cam, which I might be a little bit cheeky and do myself, boys. But do let me know down below what you think of Pellegrini. And the reason I'm so excited for him is because I got a little bit lucky in my, uh, my team of the season rewards today, boys. Live on stream, we had 48 people actively in the chat. It was insane. And we got Tenali and Barardi. What a time to be alive. Finally some usable. I say finally some usable reds. I've just sat here with Koundé and Lafont and Fafada in my team. But uh, some super meta, I'll say, reds from Team of the Season. So I'm happy about that, boys. But yeah, Pellegrini is going to be a cam. Let me quickly check to see what Footbin's telling me in regards to chem styles. Um, because I'm not 100% certain, uh, certain in all fairness. It's best to double check and make sure. We've also got the rest of the World Team of the Season out as well. Um, it looks decent. That Tavernier card looks insane, by the way. Insane. So a lot of people are saying, well, recommending to play this man as a box-to-box -box centre mid. But for me, because he's going to be my cam, I'm going to ignore that. And I'm not going to give him a shadow or an anchor. I am going to give him a hunter. Why not? Let's get a bit vibey up in here. Super juice the pace and the shooting stats. Have a bit of fun. We're going back into foot chaps qualifiers, by the way. Let's see if we can get a couple of Ws. Game number one. Is a nice Bundesliga team. There's some cool cards in there. That Dorsch, massively underrated. He's on my RTG. I'm excited to use him uh, tomorrow in a foot champs run myself. But guys, what do you think of the rest of the world team of the season? I've just taken a little glance at Footbin and I've seen, uh, what's his name? Tavernier. I always get his name wrong. Tavernier's card. And wow, what have they done to the man? He's a right back, which is a bit difficult. Um, and unless you've really done Ryan Kent's showdown card, which I had done and already submitted into an SBC, by the way. Um, you might struggle to get him in on chemistry. But he looks phenomenal. Just like Pellegrini, who's already got a debut goal three minutes in. Decent start. Big interception as well. What I like about having these uh, cams that can play, or, or play as like a box-to-box centre mid as well, with defensive attributes, is I play a press. So if I do win the ball up high, having better defending stats, better interceptions, allows me a better chance to intercept the ball at high and uh, punish my opponent which you would have just seen there if I hadn't fluffed my chances as soon as I had uh, won the ball back. All right, Pellegrini. Out wide to Nuno Mench. Let's get it back to the man. Let's see what the dribbling's saying because the balance is insane. He feels a little bit on the slow side, um, a little bit, but he feels in control, which is ideal. He's a tall, lanky figure. Berardi. Boys, the Serie A has taken over my team. Berardi and Tenali, what we say in is the red player picks. A little bit lucky to get past the man there. Wins the corner for us. Ooh, green time that one. Neuer was stretching. Not a bad little effort. He does offer a little bit going forward. With the Hunter, is basically maxed out in all fairness. But every shooting stat's in the high 90s. On the edge of the box. Tonali. I do want to stat pad as much as I can. Goals and assists if possible. Oh, we're in finesse shot territory, boys. He's got a whip on him. Let's, let's just put it that way. He has a whip on him. No finesse shot trait, unfortunately. But he had a decent effort a minute ago, which Neuer saved. Hit the woodwork now. Surely third time's lucky when it comes to getting a finesse on this debut. Ooh, lads. Diaby back stick is in so much space. And that's the equaliser. My three of the bat formation, I do love it, but there are occasions when I definitely am prone to a carrot attack, and that was one of them. Oh, lads, battling. The interceptions at high. What was on about a minute ago? 
Pellegrini gets his second. He's getting a debut hat trick. I'm feeling good with the card. I am enjoying him so far. He's not super quick, not super crazy on the ball, but he can definitely uh, handle his own when it comes to beating a player, taking on a man. Lovely little ball into Guri, the dink finish. Now, I swear that's crossed the line. <laughs> what? I'm so confused, mate. The amount of random like, ricochets and nobody there to control it in my box this weekend. The amount of times this happened to me, it's getting a bit crazy. But we do have the lead at half time. Two goals for our man Pellegrini himself. I tell you what, he is reminding me of Paqueta. They're basically carbon copies when they're on the ball. Paqueta's a bit more bulky in all fairness, Pellegrini's a bit more lean. But it's the pace. I think uh, he's a little bit slow. He's not super quick off the blocks. That's what's noticeable, which means he could lose the ball quite easily if you are trying to do too much with him. But once he's in control and if you're keeping it simple, there's no complaints whatsoever. Drifts into space here. That's lovely. Little double A across and there's an assist for the man. Gory on the score sheet. Happy days. Oh, we'll take the accurate lads. A little bit shit, Alzi, but it's fine. Pellegrini, Mr. Lorenzo on his debut. Three goals and a rage quit. Game number two with the Italian Stallions. I mean, it's a decent look. He's got some decent icons, this man, hasn't he? The icon luck has been on his side, that's for sure. Pellegrini. That's nice bit of play. He felt quick there, to be fair. And Berardi's in on goal. Around the keeper. And there's the finish, boys. Three minutes is all it takes. Falling in love with me, Dominica Berardi. And a 1-0 rage quit in game number two. <laughs> Definitely not complaining about that. So three goals and one assist in two matches for Pellegrini. We got two Ws as well, which is what you like to see. But what do I think about this man? The card itself, is he worth the price? 83 and an 85 rural team? I would say yeah. I mean, it depends if you've got fodder in your club as well to make it a little bit cheaper. If you've got a guy on the market, potentially it's going to cost a little bit more. Are there better cards for that price on the market? 100% yes. Links, no issues at all. If you're playing Serie A foot champs this weekend, you might have a few Italian boys kicking about. Fingers crossed you've got Tonali and Berardi like myself. You can get in on Kem quite easily. Now, where would I play him? Cam or a centre mid? I really enjoyed him in that cam roll. That second little game there, he set, up, set on fire a little bit. Up the ante, I noticed the pace, he was breaking past my opponent's press, making brilliant balls. The passing's really good on this card. And the finishing, you saw it, man. He got a hat-trick in game number one. Some of the strikes were ruthless as well. He puts some power behind them and floats them in the top of the net. Really, really enjoyed the card. I would say 100% worth the price. Decent option if you're running a Serie A team. Links, there's no issue. Roma, Milan, easy, uh, easy to link in with the Italian nationality as well. It's a decent little W. Now I'm excited to try some of the rest of the world cards, guys. So I'm going to end it here. I hope you did enjoy. Drop me a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you later. Hopefully some more player reviews. Take it easy.